Jumbo. Peace, the blessings, more love, more light. Welcome back to another episode, or actually season, of Gonna Be a Girl Talks. I am Kidan with our other lovely host, Grace. Happy Bear Blessings. Hope you guys are doing well. So, Grace, how's it going on your side of the pond? It's good, good. Now, um, evening in the UK, so yeah, I'm doing well. And, um, setting gold intentions and on with gratitude. How are you today? That is lovely. Me, I am good. Um, I'm doing everybody and the good ones twice. <laughs> that, that's that's actually a joke. Um, one of my good friends, she's an older, she's an older, like 75 year old woman, and she's kind of like a friend and mentor, and so she's always like cracking funny jokes with me. So she said that to me earlier today. I'm like, how are you? She was like, I'm doing good, and the good ones twice. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> that's <laughs> so it's hilarious. I know, um, hilarious. I don't think I'd be able to pull that off. <laughs> Maybe it sounds better in your accent. I don't think I'd be able to pull that off. Oh, I think you could. I think you could. You have a good sense of humor. But um, no, yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling at peace, honestly. Um, you know, happy to happy to just be present, to be here, to have life, to have family, to have friends. Um, I think those are things to always be grateful for, no matter what time of the year it is. And um, I think I'm realizing how like you have different seasons in your life, right? Like. You have the season where it's harvest season and you have the season where you just got to put your head down and and focus on yourself and your work and what you have going on. And so for me, the season that I'm in is really like harvesting. I feel like I'm 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 seeing the fruits of my of my work, of my thoughts, of my intentions. And it feels good. Yeah. Amen to all of that. Yes. Um, No, I definitely hear you. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely setting setting um those the same intentions that I have been setting, which is carrying gratitude through in every day, regardless mm-hmm. of how heavy things are or how light things are. Mm-hmm. That has to carry through. But yeah, mm-hmm. um just daily, daily, daily gratitude, staying in uh-huh. gratitude. Um it helps with everything else actually. Um Yeah. No, that's real. That's so real because, and you're one of the people that I see, especially on social media, like even though you're <clears throat> you're posting gratitude and it's for yourself, to me, it's like a reminder, right? So sometimes I might have a flustered day and I'm like, I'm thinking about all the things that went wrong. And if I'm like scrolling and I see your gratitude and your emojis, I'm like, it's just like a little reminder, like, oh yeah, like snap out of it. You know, what you're thinking about, in the grand scheme of things, it's like a tiny speck. So it's a reminder to me. Um, mm-hmm. in and it's not about forgetting what's going on. It's just, mm-hmm. like, you know what's going on, but still, like, grateful for life. Mm, that's deep. That's deep. Mm. What, what things do you think that, because when I think about gratitude, right, I think about what people also take for granted, you know, and mm-hmm. unfortunately, sometimes we take our loved ones for granted. Like mm-hmm. we take, even if your parents, <clears throat> if you're if you're around children, you take those children for granted, you know. And um, something I saw the other day on social media really triggered me, like like really really bad. Um, the video with the Nigerian parents that abused that child. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then like tying it into gratitude made me think about how. We even take our blessings for granted sometimes because I look at children as a blessing, you know, and it's, mm. it's so easy when you're not in that state of gratitude, you could fall in a state of ungratefulness, you know? So, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I definitely agree with you. And um, we're, because we're in a, you know, in um an era of like consumerism. So everyone is just constantly 
giving thanks but directing it to something that they've consumed and not just and, and not everyone because a lot of people have a, lots of self-awareness these days um yeah. but it's just as small as you know I am you know grateful that I woke up this morning because a lot of people didn't so it just if that's the only thing I'm grateful for that day then that's okay because that's a huge thing <laughs> Mm-hmm. waking up in the morning is huge and um, not lots of people get that opportunity so no, that's real yeah, even, even if it's like the small small things gratitude that I have food and um, a lot of people don't gratitude I have a roof over my head I can pay my bills I can go to work um, and I am healthy enough to do so um, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I, I do I do see that sometimes gratitude is tied to a lot of the fancier things in life. Like when you, if you get your BMW or, you know, you go on a, I don't know, whatever little, whatever material things, Mm -hmm. sometimes we do have a habit of tying gratitude to those. So I I agree. Like it is good to just tie it to um, some of the more basic things, right? Like the, like your ability to breathe fresh air. Like, you know, like the ability to even have access to, to internet connection <laughs> or, or be able to do this podcast. Like, you know, some of the, some of the tiny things that, that go unnoticed. And I feel like it's like what Erica Badu was saying, like, breathe in gratitude and like you'll feel that through your whole being, you know. <clears throat> it's not just a word or a phrase or a trend. It's literally like a, you could literally call it like a state of, it's a state of being all the time. Literally. Yeah. It's a very constant state of being. Mm-hmm. You, know when you, you know, when you're like, because everything can get so much and um, everything gets so much. I'm not, I don't pretend that I don't, um, just because I'm in a state of calm, it doesn't mean that I don't, you know, um, get angry and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Because I'm constantly thinking, oh yeah, I'm, like I might be having an issue in this particular space, but I'm still grateful that I'm in this space um, where I'm able to see other perspectives and to and to find a different way of dealing with things. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Like. When I'm going through some of my toughest moments and I remember um, and I remember to be grateful because I'm not at the place where it just comes automatically to me. I have to kind Mm -hmm. of bring myself back to that. When I remember to be grateful, it does help me come up with solutions like it helps me kind of, okay, snap out of it. And it helps me come up with creative ways to deal with what I'm going Mm -hmm. through or, you know, address things in a different way than to just focus on just the problem. So yeah Mm -hmm. shout out to gratitude wherever you are in the universe thank you (laughs) thank you for uh for just being present here and you know uh yeah yeah whoever listening to this is gonna think we're like um i don't know um what's that thing called we're like hippies like those astronomical hippies or whatever That's okay. Just put African in front of it. I'll be all right with that. Yeah, African. <laughs> I'm an Af- African tree hugger. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. All about the trees. Yeah. All about the trees. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. That's a that's a really good place to start. Honestly, and um, just holding space for some of those those uh, those those values. Gratitude is actually a value. You know, it's a value. It's a mm-hmm. principle. It's, you could be taught that, right? Like, you know, you've been around nieces and nephews and kids, and sometimes, you know, they might show, they might not show appreciation in the tiniest ways, like through their toys or their food and stuff like that. And growing up, you know, coming from Sudanese households, your parents always reminding you, "Don't throw away that food. Don't you know that there's all these hungry kids in Africa and so what and so what?" So, even in the smallest situations it is important to show gratitude i think even to this day that message has been like drummed into me as a child like it's really hard for me to throw away a whole plate of food i don't know about you but i know i, know. I just rather leave it and yeah, yeah later. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard for me to be wasteful because uh, being grateful for what I have was something that was that was um, taught to me. As many African people can relate to that too. Um, And I think tying it back to like personal growth and stuff, I think sometimes we don't show enough gratitude to ourselves, you know, like not just for the things that we've been blessed with and the relationships we have, but like sometimes we're too hard on ourselves. Oh, we need to meet this deadline by this and do this Mm -hmm. and do this rather than just take a moment to breathe and thank yourself for the hard work that you have done. Like you mentioned earlier, waking up, like just, dang, you know, I'm going through a hard time right now, but I woke up today. I got out of bed, you know, how do you, how do you think about that? Like people, um, thinking or not showing enough gratitude towards self? Um, I think like each to their own Um, Mm -hmm. and it takes everyone gets to different stages in their different times so I mean at some point people reach that stage Um, I wasn't always living in daily gratitude so Mm -hmm. um, it's also like if you want to do it it's a habit that you can instill into your life and it doesn't just happen automatically like you said yeah um, earlier but um yeah. but yeah if the intention is there then it's possible i believe <laughs> you made me think about something actually just now right um we've had conversations offline about you know just the the trends with like the images that we've been um, exposed to, especially online with like plastic surgery and things like that. And how I, how I connect that with gratitude is like sometimes a low self-esteem that comes from going through things in life. Right. And then also sometimes people go through these things, not just because of low self-esteem, but because they might not have enough gratitude for what they've actually been blessed with. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I remember growing up, I didn't like always being the tallest person or the darkest person. So I had to like learn how to be grateful, how to be, how to really embrace that to where now I don't want anything else, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, definitely. I agree. Yeah. 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 So actually, so not practicing gratitude sometimes could, could put you in a state of wanting more things, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Without limit, which is mm. I mean, it's great if you if that's what you want to do. But um, but yeah, it 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 opens up an, a huge avenue for humility as well. Yeah, you you're just more humble about what um what what is given to you, you know, yeah, um, or what you get for yourself, but um. Okay. But yeah, I want you to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what intentions have you set for this? Shall I say, I'm going to say month because we like constantly saying. Yeah. Wow. All right. I, you know, I enjoy this question. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's good. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, so for me, um, I wanted to enter the month a little quiet um, and not make too much noise, especially with my, with like with myself. Um, so this month for me, my intention is really just self-observation, I think. Um, and I feel it. Like I didn't write anything down or, um, or plan anything. I kind of just felt that's what I needed and just let my gut kind of guide me with that Mm -hmm. and it's worked out great for me like it's worked out great um having the ability to just step outside of yourself and observe yourself is huge like and it's taken me years to be able to do that um so yeah just self-observation um more self-study and I think once I learn whatever lessons I need to learn from that that can help me kind of plan forward Right. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's funny because sometimes I like to I like to do little experiments on myself and, you know, be like, Mm -hmm. okay, try this or try that. Um, I am someone who likes to write stuff down naturally that that's like lists and plans and stuff like that. So. um, So that's always going to be like in the background, but I think 
in terms of intention, I really just wanted to observe and see like, how do I lead my life without having anything in front of me? You know, how do I lead my life without actually having an agenda? And, you know, as a planner, I'm always like, plan, 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 this, 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 and that. And I'm learning to sometimes be like, you know what? Trust yourself. You know, self-trust is just as important as self-love and Mm -hmm. self-care and all these things. So, No, definitely. Yeah. What does that look like for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, You know, I set a few intentions Mm -hmm. and um, I intentionally set these intentions um, (laughs) because... I don't know I just wanted to get into the habit of writing them down every day so Mm -hmm. regardless of if it's for the month I want to practice intentionally practice those intentions daily yeah especially um things like um the the three main things that I picked and they're very general but um it's love um wealth and health mm. um, so with health that is literally what I'm putting into my body what I put on my body and you know um, it also goes as far as um, mental health also so what I'm consuming from different avenues making sure that it's not taking me because because when I'm stressed about stuff um, which is something that's coming from the mind it goes down to my stomach like I get stomach pain so I have to be intentional about what's what I'm consuming yeah. um, in whichever environment be it work or at home um, or even just like on social media not to get too um, infused into it so it doesn't stress me out yeah um, but yeah so that's one of them and um well for just budgeting more and um and planning to um planning in a in a more financially conscious way um where I am building so now everything that I'm making is not only going towards like bills and stuff but intentionally going towards building a more sustainable um future um and then love because i feel like i have because of past situations i've kind of stopped myself from receiving love Mm -hmm. but not in a not in like a way from like my friends um because I keep that that very limited as well. My my friendships or family, I also keep those limited. Um, but in like relationship wise, um, things as small as receiving like compliments. That's that's like someone. It's like a sign of love. But for me, I just because I find that people will focus on giving me actually hearing me I'm not in like and I've come to the point where I'm not really interested in hearing too many compliments if you say it once that's okay and I can you know I heard you and we can keep it shifting and talk about something else Mm -hmm. um and that kind of puts more of a um a barrier up for me um in regards to receiving love when I hear just people focusing on on the exterior and not on the interior Mm -hmm. um so yeah so I built this huge wall and these huge um boundaries that um that I'm gonna I I have already started to let them go but in a healthy way not in a way where like oh yeah I'm letting that go because that person did whatever whatever to me it's Mm -hmm. got nothing to do with anybody else I allowed those situations to happen um and I played my own part in them so the fact that I have come out of it um, with a slightly more preserved but um, in, enlightened um, 
way, then I'm, I'm grateful for that. So definitely intentionally moving um, or affirming like love in my life in a positive way and not in like, oh, um, oh, I want to be married or whatever, whatever. No, just in me learning how to ex- accept love in a healthy way and not in a, oh, um, someone needs me for something. So that means that that's that that's love it's just you know like it's like a give and take situation no I just want to just it just experience it in like a way where I'm not trying to solve a problem for someone as well um mm. or like wow. I feel res- I feel like I should give them love because they're showing me some love. I don't know I don't know how I'm explaining it but yeah just yeah. giving myself the grace, no pun intended, um, to <laughs> in a healthy way. Wow. That was, um, I received that, you know, I received that as your friend. I think that's, that's like, that's work, you know, that's, that is work. And that's what intentions are for right? It's like, it's not just something that you just set, but something that you're even willing to lean into and do the work and ask yourself the questions or journal or have conversations. It's not just um, a, a, a empty affirmation or an empty thought, right? Um, that's yeah. what that reminds me of. I mean, just to go back to what you said a few, a few seconds ago about, um, you know, breaking down some of the walls that you yourself built up, like, that is, that is, that's to me, that's, that's a, like a major step towards a person healing, right? And mm-hmm. just like healing themselves, not necessarily healing from something or, or anyone, but like, like just a healing for yourself, right? And it's also a way of taking some of your power back. And, um, and so that's, that's definitely something like, you know, for all the listeners out there, definitely um, play that part back when you get a chance because we we do do that to ourselves. We do have the power to break down the walls that we built up because we built them, right? Mm-hmm. I think um, a long time ago, I, I came across a quote that was saying that sometimes we become prisoners for the, all, for the walls that we built up to keep other people out. We now become the prisoners. So it kind of made me think a little bit about that. Um, you know, so no give Definitely. thanks for sharing. What saying is so correct. Mm-hmm. It's so correct. We become the pre- it's like it's as if you've done something so bad because you're holding on to this um this thing that you collected from others. It's somebody else's opinion of you. It's not an actual physical thing and you've collected that and you've le- and it, and now it's like inside you. And um and like and that's how people get sick and stuff like because you're holding it and you're like oh your yeah. back starts becoming slouched and stuff and you're like Ooh. yes yes yeah. yes absolutely absolutely man that part right there is so true because our thoughts have the capacity to like, like they be heavy on us, right? Like if you're thinking a lot of thoughts and they're intense and you're thinking them a lot, it's going, it's going to make you feel heavy. And then you feeling heavy, it's going to show up in your body, in your posture, in how the energy you, you put out. And then eventually even, I mean, some people might not believe this, even in certain sicknesses that you get, some of it is connected to the stresses that you have, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you might, maybe because of the stress that you have, you might be eating a certain way, or you might not be getting certain physical exercise, like exercise, or you might not be getting enough sunlight. All of these things will lead you down terrible conditions. So a thought is really powerful. The the mind is really powerful, and um, and to tie it back to to um, intentions, I think for me with my intention of just observing myself part of that is also my thoughts as well like what am i mm-hmm. what am i thinking constantly what are what are these thoughts that are flowing through my mind you know what's that what does that traffic look like mm-hmm. is it a bunch of garbage is it positive thoughts are they thoughts that challenge me 
not into becoming a better person, but challenge me into um, putting out the best that I can. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. I think this idea of being a good person is so like up there and sometimes it's unattainable. It's like, what yeah. really, <laughs> like what really is a good person, right? And so many people have their own different definitions. I think all we mm-hmm. can do is just be the best of, you can be the best of you, I can be the best of me and that's it, right? Um, I think gone are the days of trying to be a good person per se in this context. Um, But yeah, like just observing my thoughts because I know my thoughts feed me and what I what I put out, you know, if I'm consuming like that. Yeah. Like what you were saying about content and social media and stuff, if you're consuming a bunch of toxic things, it's only a matter of if you don't have a filtration (laughs) system of like, okay, it's in and it's out. That's don't. It's not going to be a surprise that that's the same stuff you're putting out too. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny because for me, growing up, I I loved hip hop music. I thought it was like amazing. And then mm-hmm. as I got older, I just started to see its decline. Like it was just very negative, and the messages in it were no longer like empowering or positive. And so I had to like step back from that because it wasn't feeding me and helping you yeah and helping me become the person I wanted to be so I had to kind of let some of that go and part of part of setting intentions is also putting actions in place right once you get a certain information you say okay Mm -hmm. set this intention this is what I've learned what action can I take now you know um so yeah no give thanks for bringing this Mm -hmm. dope topic um, let us know what you think out there. Gonna be a girl talks world. Thank you guys for supporting us so much. We um, we look forward to giving you guys more content and um, sharing more real conversations. This is such a lovely space. Thank you for supporting us. Um, so I think we'll we'll wrap it up here because there's gonna be more. I'll give it to you, Grace. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for tuning in and we have so many things coming up um super excited about them but hopefully we'll be jumping on here more in a more relaxed manner um not in an interview manner um and we can chop it up with you guys on a more personal level but yeah i'm looking forward to that lots um but apart from that um follow us on our socials and um you'll find the links below um and yeah have a super blessed rest of the day and uh yeah gratitude for tuning in yes gratitude peace all right